So today we were about to head out for a longer road trip, but you know, driving two hours in one direction and then two hours back at least makes it four hours in a car, which is too much when the days are so short. So we are at uh, in the Gothenburg area. We are in Hisingen, which is a big island and it's sort of baked into the mainland. Anyways, so we're gonna be here at this megalithic site. We're gonna go to the aerospace place down the road and um, you know cook a soup and just be outside and play today. The whole day. You can see not a cloud to be seen. Here we are at another megalithic location in the western part of Sweden and uh, this one like many others has been moved from its original location due to the road construction and uh, yeah this grave was located just where the road is going one can always ask how much of authentic work they did when they reconstructed this tomb you can see some supporting cement in, in there and also inside Anyway, the legend says a uh, queen named uh, or nicknamed Hakka was buried here and uh, her king due to uh, famine and you know lack of food five and a half thousand years ago he ordered all the men like every third man to be killed so there would be enough food but his queen um, having more sense than him said that every man ought to be given a chip like a hack chip those you plant seeds with and some seeds and to make uh, more um, earth better for um, crops and uh, so that happened and she became a legend now how much of that story is true we don't know this location like uh, almost every other location like this uh, was closer to the ocean as the water level was at least 15 meters higher than today and uh, it's dated to five and a half thousand years ago or something but we don't know so it might have been even closer to the ocean depending on what the water level was back then This will be so exciting. We just enter, we're just gonna enter a um, Cold War museum in a bunker, which is similar to the one I visited in Mostar. And uh, this is not strictly a museum, so one is able to sort of sit down and touch the knobs and, you know, just imagine you're a pilot and have a good time, fun. I'm telling you, if a nuclear war happens right now, we're gonna be good, better off than most people. Oh. Yeah, we got food, we got a cafeteria, we got airplanes, we can fly away. We'll survive. that 
one really has to take care of the sunny days here because they are very few, right? And uh, we haven't been to these places before. Now it's time to go and eat something. All right, it's time for some uh, family talk. Uh, it's half past 11 or something. My work day is just beginning. So um, I sleep longer than the girls, okay? Uh, because I stay up longer. I That's my job. Um, it's super flexible, but I have always been a night person and um, most of the online things in the world happen in the United States and I don't live there so you know the time gap just makes it perfect for me to start this late. Anyway, uh, when the day begins um, my wife always takes like the first one or a couple of hours uh, then we see what happens like today was a great day sunny day um, most often it's rainy and um, gray so we went outside right to explore something something ancient something retired like the airplanes and the hangar and um, after that fun exciting day we come back then also my wife sort of takes over a bit but we all get around as a family and have fun uh, do some dancing playing some music and since we uh, don't have a girl in the kindergarten we are how do you say um, homeschooling just you know we do it ourselves we stimulate her by you know playing or educating her i mean she's just uh, past two years with letters, for example, give me a tea for Tata, give me a people uh, for uh, paprika, you know, and so on. So numbers and colors, we do that. We do uh, music. Uh, I have some instruments at home. So she gets the whole spectrum. And uh, once again, if you're wondering why, you know, it's always like me and her on, on in the camera or, you know, uh, my wife, it's because I don't film other people and put them on YouTube unless they are, um, very close to me and totally okay with the rest of the content i just don't want to have a responsibility and i wouldn't want you know somebody just to film my kids and uh, put it up on a youtube channel so i don't do that that's why the fo footage is it looks sort of like you know we are alone in the world sometimes but we're not um, you know there are big playgrounds in in around town even here so uh, there is the social bit but just to explain that anyway um, yes so that was that that's sort of how our uh, balanced routine looks like and today was a good November day you know it's sunny many reasons to go outside and do things and as I said in, in some update video last week or 10 days ago or like uh, there's been so much work with getting this new place together so now it's done and we have the sort of time to uh, be balanced and uh, so on so that's the perfect balance schedule for me and you see I'm we're, we're all different balance is different for everyone every individual every family every group for me I always been a night person and um, since since my job is flexible and I can do that and I feel the best by doing that that's the way I live and um, you know my wife doesn't you know she's like a metronome so she has never sort of adapted or uh, not adapted but like been uh, poisoned or destroyed by my um, daily rhythm I mean I don't have a crazy daily rhythm it's just that it's it's you know it's ahead some hours and back some hours so <laughs> Yeah, and uh, so I wanted to share this because all of this uh, takes energy and focus and when you have all that in a balance, it's really a good feeling and um, uh, when it's a boring day, you know, rainy and grey, it, you have no choice, you do some indoors activity, you can always go out uh, or go to some something in the city that's indoors, like, um, I don't know, museum, uh, uh, some events, um, uh, doll theater, yeah, anything. Uh, but yeah, the winter is coming, so here it's going to be gray, rainy, 
I hope it's gonna be a really cold white winter because that is beautiful and super fresh, you know, uh, to get that sort of month at least to breathe in that cold, cold air uh, and not that sort of uh, wet, cold, fungi, <laughs> like not even below zero air. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great weekend. Take care and all the best. Ciao.